The Synod of Bishops does not begin until 2023 in Rome, but the preparations are beginning this weekend. The Holy Father will begin the three-year synodal journey tomorrow. It includes a time for reflection and prayer and then a Holy Mass on Sunday. The synodal process begins at the local level and ends in the main assembly in two years' time. Joining us now from Rome is Susan Pasco, member of the Commission for Methodology at the Synod of Bishops. Susan, welcome. Thank you so much. Can you tell us a little more about the start of this synodal process and this weekend's events? Well, this weekend is the formal opening, and it's going to be quite a, a large event, really. Tomorrow, Saturday, uh, there's to be an event in Paul VI Hall beside the Vatican, uh, which the Pope will open, uh, and all of the delegates will be there. There'll be two hours of uh, input from pretty much each continent. I know from Australia it's a, a video of uh, a number of families talking about what synodality means to them, but different input from different countries. Uh, then we're going to go into a two-hour session where, in many ways, we model what we mean by synodality. So each of the delegates will go into groups of roughly 15 in different language groups, and we'll take the questions that have been put in the preparatory document and the vatimecum that's come from the Synod of Bishops to the delegates. But we'll begin by asking them to first of all introduce themselves and tell us a little bit of their hopes and expectations and then focus them down on the questions. And Susan, can you, you know, talk a little bit more about why the Synod of Bishops is really so important? And also, have they announced a theme for the 2023 event? Well, it, yes, because in fact, it is a synod on synodality. And, and when the first time people hear that, they think they've misheard. Um, but actually, it is. So the, Pope Francis has had synods on youth, on the family and on the Amazon. And I think they've been, you know, pretty well covered by the media globally. But to have a synod on synodality seems a bit strange because in many ways synodality is about a process. It's about um, the church uh, getting into a mode where all of the voices of all of the people of God can be raised and can contribute. Now that again might sound a little lacking in specificity, but what it really means is that when there are matters, let's look at it at the parish level, um, where there are, are matters to be determined, um, that you have the maximum amount of input from any parishioner who wants to um, make a contribution to the life of that parish. So, for example, uh, well, we know that parishes have to have um, parish finance councils, but we hope that most parishes also have pa parish pastoral councils and that that's an opportunity for people to contribute. But beyond that, there's plenty of other opportunities um, in moments in the, the life of that parish where people can contribute. It could be something as, as similar as, as simple as planning the Christ, Christmas liturgies or um, the, 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 the first uh, reconciliation and, and the first communion events. Uh, plenty of opportunities for members of the parish uh, to contribute. So that, that's the example. Well, Susan, thank you so much for your time today uh, and speaking with us on this. We appreciate it. Susan Pasco, member of the Commission for Methodology at the Synod of Bishops. Thank you again. Thank you.